Happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics and let's solve this really interesting exponential equation 3 to the x equal to x to the 9. There are two methods and in this video I'm going to show you a really great first first method. So we have 3 to the x equal to x x to the 9. Okay, here's our here is our challenge. And first of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. Okay, let's do this. So right here we have natural log of 3 to the x on the left hand side here. We equal to natural log of x to the 9. Okay, natural log just on both sides, right here and right here. What are we going to do next? We should know a really great uh, natural log property and other matter natural log or log. We can easily bring this x right here. So we can easily write this x and write this 9 right here as a product. So this x right here and this 9 right here behind this, behind this natural log. Okay, so we have x times natural log 3 equal to 9 times natural log x. And as you prefer, uh, we um, so we prefer to group our axes on the left hand side and our variables, our variables on the left and our constant on the right hand side. So right here, let's divide both sides by x first of all. So we have x uh, times natural log 3 divided by x and we do the same thing with this x on the, with this expression on the right hand side. So we have 9 times natural log x divided by x. So we just divide both sides by this x. So right here we can easily cancel this x. Yeah, so we have as a result natural log 3, natural log 3 equal to 9 times natural log x over x. Okay, so we just divided both sides by this by this x. And right now let's divide both sides by this 9 because we still have this constant on the right hand side, we don't need it. So right here we divided both sides by x. And right here we divide both sides by, by uh, 9, okay? So as a result we have natural log 3, yeah, we have natural log 3 over 9 equal to natural log x over x, okay? So we just group these uh, well, variables on the left and on the right hand side, constant on the left and variables on the right. On the right. And right now let's swap position right here. So let's write our axis on the left hand side because we prefer this, uh, this expression, natural log x over x equal to natural log 3 over 9. Okay, this is our first step to create a great expression for us. And let's re rewrite this expression right here. So we have natural log, natural log x over x equal to natural log 3 over 9. Okay, this is our first this is our first step to create this expression. Right now we need lab to we need to know about Lambert W function. This function looks like that. Many don't know about this function, but for example, imagine if you have expression like a times e to the power a, so where a is whatever you want expression, if we have Lambert W function, if we apply Lambert W function from this expression, we have only our a, okay? This is really important function for us because it helps us a lot. In just in just 30 seconds, we will, uh, this expression will, will help us a lot. But right now, let's try to create this e because we don't have e right here. So for this uh, creation, let's try to rewrite this expression. So nature log x but let's separate this solution for us here, yeah, right here, okay? So we have natural log x over x equal to natural log 3 over 9, okay? And right now let's bring this x or let's rewrite this x with the base of e. So we have natural log x over, we can rewrite this x as e to the power natural log x, okay? We can rewrite it as e to the power natural log x, okay? Equal to natural log 3 over 9. So I hope you understand I hope you understand this step. What are you going to do next? Let's bring this e to from our denominator to our numerator. So we have natural log x times e to the power but not with positive natural log x but with the minus natural log x yeah e equal to natural log 3 over 9. Natural log 3 over 9. What are you going to do next? Take a look closely. Right here we need to have uh, two similar expression, a and a right here. But if you look closely, we have natural log x and right here we have minus natural log x. So completely different expression. And to create the same expression, we should multiply both sides by minus 1. If we multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have like minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 3 over 9 over 9. Okay, let's separate this, this place right here, okay, and let's go to the next step, the final step. We should apply Lambert W function, okay? Let's apply Lambert W function on the left and on the right hand side. So we have, we have Lambert W function, Lambert W function of minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, and on the right hand side Lambert W function of minus natural log 3 
over 9 over 9. Okay, Lambert W function, if we look closely, we have the same expression right here, minus nature log x, and we have the same expression right here as a power. So we can easily apply this rule, Lambert W function. So Lambert W function of this expression gives us only a, where a is this expression. In our case, this is minus nature log x, minus nature log x, equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 over 9. This is a great expression on the right hand side. This is this is a constant in our case, so it's it's great for us. Okay, right now let's find our x because we have nature log, but how can we find our x right here? First of all, let's bring this minus right here as a power of x. Okay, let's we can do, easily do this in the in this way or in that way, we can easily do this. So we have nature log x to the power minus 1 equal to Lambert W function of minus so the same thing yeah minus nature log 3 over over 9. Okay what is the next step? Let's take base of e on both sides the final step so right here base base of e and right here base of e. At this e and a nature log we can easily cancel this so as a result we have x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 over 9. Okay over 9. What is next step? We have right here x to the power minus 1, but we should but we should find our x, so we can easily mm, bring this to our denominator and we can easily cancel this minus, because uh, like in this position it works, we should uh, bring this to our denominator and then we can easily cancel this minus, so as a result we have x to the uh, x equal to 1 over e to the power. This Lambert W function has a lot of indexes, so right here we should put n, yeah, and as a result uh, uh, this Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 over over 9. Yeah, and this is our final final answer. This is our constant right here with these indexes. We have two roots. I find it for you. So as a result, with, with index w, we have our first root x first equal to 1.151. And with second indexes or with indexes with index minus 1, we have the second root x second equal to 27. This is two roots to this to this challenge this is our this is our answer this is my solution to this interesting to this interesting question i saw a lot of a lot of solution on internet about approximately answer about different method but it's it's really bad to be honest i saw i see i saw a lot of a lot of solution on internet but a lot of students make this mistake a lot of students um, avoid this uh, lambert w function which is really bad in terms of math because as you can see nothing hard uh, first of all let's create um, the expression according to lambert w function right here with x on the left and constant on the right second step lambert w function we apply lambert w function and final step we should find our x according to nature log property right here nature log a rule right here with e we can easily go step by step to our to our x and right here this is our solution so in your exam it's really great to to write this expression like that this is your final answer because i guess you you don't be allowed to to check this answer in your calculator because uh, right here you should uh, you should be allowed to check it in your internet libraries in your calculator because uh, many students don't know about these values and even teachers don't know about uh, about these values with Lambert W function so it is your final answer this x is your your final answer this is your final answer to this to this challenge we can easily go step by step a, a real quick once more so right here first of all nature lock on both side Second step, log property. This x and this 9 goes right here. <clears throat> the next step, let's group our axes on the left-hand side, uh, our constant on the right-hand side. First of all, let's divide both sides by x, so from here we cancel this. And second step, we should divide both sides by this 9. We should cancel this, this 9, and, and then we can easily group constant on the left and our variables on the right-hand side, and it's better for us to swap this, this position. So on the left-hand side we have we have uh, variables and on the right hand side constant this is our first first step second step lambert w function we should apply this lambert w function but we should create a correct expression in terms of lambert w function because we should have e and a right here and a right here so the same powers and the same expression right here behind this behind this e <clears throat> Okay, so we can easily do this, we can easily do this with, with this creation, we create right here this e, and then we bring it to our to our numerator where we multiply it by minus 1, so we have the same expression right here, and the same expression right here. Final step, apply Lambert W function, which simplifies us a lot, because right here we have only 
only natural log x, we can easily apply this lambda w function. We can easily simplify this expression and we can easily find our, our e. <clears throat> so this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new and I hope you understand my explanation. And if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out for this particular video. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.